Welcome back everyone to Frigid Northern Ohio today. And this is something that's been kind of on my mind for a bit. After we did the three point hitch install video, I was asked by a couple people in person, is that all the farther down it goes? Cause they saw that it would go from about here to maybe up to here. And that seems a little disappointing. And at the time I was thinking, well, there's a lot of category one implements that their pins are about 12, 13 inches off the ground anyway, maybe no big deal. Well, um, I think I have a reason now to go ahead and, and fix this up. So here's, here's what I found so far. When I had this, I measured them and these balls here, the center of these balls on the lower link arms, they were about 12 inches off the ground and at full height, they're about 80, 18 inches off the ground. So I was kind of looking at this and I think I have a theory of where it's getting hung up on the way down. Now where it was measuring at 18 inches was all the way up. And what happens is these top lobes here coming off the rock shaft come up here against the frame. And that, that is the upper limit of where they can move. So we know our full height is uh, at the, uh, the balls on the lower arms. It's probably about 18 inches, 18 and a half inches. So, um, but we want to try to get it down lower because we only had about six inches of a range of motion. There's about 12 inches down here at the bottom. Um, so after looking it over and you know, kind of rocking it back and forth and looking at it, I think what may be holding this up is if you remember from our three point hitch uh, install video on this threaded rod here, there was a square nut on the back side of this. And that actually, I'm, I'm told that controls how, uh, how, how low you can lower the mower deck on there because this is connected to that lift mechanism. Um, but my thoughts are I'm probably not going to install that mower deck again and if I do it's probably just going to ride on the uh, the casters on the deck anyway so I'm not really worried about it being too low it'll just ride low on the ground. So my thoughts are with as, as minimal uninstallation as possible if I can pull this rock shaft back and and take that square nut and basically suck it all the way up to the back of the threads there, I might get this full range of motion where this can start to go back farther. Um, that's a theory. I'm going to do it and we're going to see if it even works. Uh, if not, we're just going to have to live with this. Uh, this is very workable for a lot of implements, but uh, it's, it's just not going to be as, uh, not going to be as easy as I had hoped. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So I got my tools here and uh, what we're going to do, I think all I want to do for the lower part is drop these arms off the rock shaft. So I'm going to take these nuts here. I think they're, if I recall from the install video, I think they're number 19, 19 millimeter nuts. We're going to take these off. So these will just drop out. And I may or may not mess with the top link. I don't, it's not really weighing it down any, so out of sight. Um, so when we take that off, I'm going to go ahead and take these two nuts on these Kind of retaining brackets here on each side those two nuts that we were struggling with i think they're half inch or uh or number 13 millimeter uh metric screw uh metric wrenches we're gonna take those off i'm not gonna take this rolled pin out unless i have to so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take those out and see if i can't rock it backwards towards me if i can get that back far enough off that square nut where i can turn it i'm just gonna go ahead and screw it all the way to the top of this threaded rod get it out of the way and rock it back in place. If that doesn't work, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take that roll pin out and probably rotate the bottom out and then the top out. So we'll just go ahead and get started on that here in a second. But that's the plan. We shall see when we're done whether it works or not. So let's get started. All right, we're back. So after thinking about it a little bit, I am going to take this top link off. It's just a pin. It'll get it out of the way. So let's go ahead and pull the lynch pin here. that off. Pin back in there so I don't lose it. All right, these top uh, these top nuts right here, the ones I was talking about that I thought they might have been 19s, they're actually 24 millimeters. Um, don't know what that converts to in inches, but uh, that's what they are for here. So we're going to go ahead and take these off really quick. Gotta give a little bit of a little bit of a hold on the pins here because it's not threaded or it's not a like hex shaped there on the pin. 
You know what? I don't even need to take these off. Let's go ahead and leave these on and we'll just slide this off. That's a little bit easier. Sorry to steer y'all wrong there. <clears throat> Tighten that up so I don't get surprised with it when I need it. Same on the other one. All right, that's the top link and the lower links out of the way here. And let's get this one back in here. Let's get it in the right way so I don't lose it out in the trail somewhere. All right. Let's take, uh, take these same four bolts here that I pointed out on the uh, install video. Just hold these um, little retaining plates in there. See if I can get them off. I think I can do the top ones with the... My impact driver, uh, the bottom ones, I'm going to have to use a 13 millimeter wrench. I'm going to use the 13 millimeter socket for the top ones. So let's go ahead and zip these off. Looks like I need to grab the other side anyway. Okay. Get these back together. The habit of not losing them here. Top ones, uh, I was doing the impact on the outside and the wrench on the inside. Well, because we got these uh, parts right here in the way, we're going to go ahead and do it the opposite on the bottom if I got the angle here. Why that was so hard. All right. Get that nut on there. All right. Other side. So we're on there. No better, I'd swear this thing was going the wrong way. Let's make sure we're not on the drill setting here. Let's see. Maybe this is just gonna take some manpower. I'm that man. All right. Okay, bottom one. So I don't even think I can get that in there. If you remember from the install video, that was uh, kind of a problem. But I think I can take the torque off over here, so should be enough to make it happen. All right. All right. Okay. There's the moment of truth. We're going to find out if we can get this backed up enough off of here to uh, start to spin that square nut back there without taking this off. We're so far along now that I don't think that'll be that big of a deal if we do have to do it, but I'd rather not. I want to make this as easy as possible. So let's give it a pull. Jeez, this whole thing's wanting to fall apart on me. Get these back together. So 
set these off to the side here. They're kind of greasy from the grease that we did, but I think I can do it. So let's go ahead and look at this nut here. So this is the nut that I think is affecting us here. Um, thankfully, we were able to rotate that back. Had to go a lot farther than I thought. Uh, but it looks like it does just barely clear that to where we can do it without fully taking this off. So let's go ahead and start spinning that all the way up to the top of the threads there. And like I said, this is kind of a guess. I'm, I don't really see what else could be hanging it up as far as going down farther. So I'm thinking this must be it. I mean, unless it's uh, unless it's related to the mower lift uh, assembly over here on both sides, but I don't think that's it. And it seems like where the uh, where the lower arms don't go down any farther, it seems like it's kind of in the same vicinity of, of where this is. So, all right, so, so we took it all the way to the top of the threads. And uh, once again, you gotta get it lined up like that so it'll slip inside of here. If we have it like this, it's gonna hang you up and you're gonna wonder what's going on because you can't see it once you get it to that point. So let's turn it that way. And let's try to rock this back into place. This kind of has to happen all at once, so I'm uh, Get these on one hand at a time. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Okay, that's how it's kind of on. Let's see. Maybe the right angle here, maybe. Let's see. Well, this is going wonderful. See, the bottom there. And if you remember from the install video, I had had my son helping me. And that was because when you have to hold these together and kind of line this up, it's not that easy to do it all by yourself. So I think I'm gonna get it here, but that side really made me work for it. Get it up in here wall at one time. All right, looks like we're getting close. Maybe if I bring it this way a little bit. There we go. There we go. Let's see if we can. There we go. Sweet. All right. That would have been way easier with two sets of hands. So if you do it yourself, I think I mentioned this in the install video. If you do, you do it yourself, that's going to be a little bit harder for you. It's not impossible. But there's plenty of videos on YouTube of people doing it by themselves, but it's me. So I'm going to go ahead and put these brackets back on and then we'll. Uh, Go ahead and get this all put back together and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, raise it all the way up and lower it all the way down get some new measurements on there see how much improvement we made if we made any at all there's no guarantee on this like I said this is just my my theory the only thing that's probably holding that up so we will go ahead and uh, show you us putting this back together basically just the opposite of the way we took it apart and uh, then we'll uh, Raise it and lift it and see what our measurements were. So let's go ahead and get these. We'll see. I think this is the only thing I took off of there. So let's go ahead and rock this back in there. Kind of a pain. So it's probably about in the mid twenties today in Ohio here. So um, it's kind of cold. Nice to have the gloves on, but it's also nice to be able to touch what you're working with so that you can uh, get these in. It can be a little bit hard to tell sometimes with gloves on. Let's go ahead and I'm just gonna try to get these all started. I 
I'm excited. I'm hoping that did it because, uh, you know, like I said, I can probably work with the 12, the 12 inches. I went to a couple. Uh... All right. Sorry about that. That was my air compressor. And I know you guys want to hear my stories. So we're, I figured I'd go ahead and turn that off while we're doing this. So uh, start zipping this back together. See, we got our nut and our bolt there. Uh, let's get the other one on before we get too far here. I'm excited if this works. Oh, that's a tough one. Let's see. Gotta get every angle perfect here. Get it? No. Did not get it. Let's try to Hold this with the wrench. At least the wrench will keep it straight. All right. Got it started. Let's find the other one here. Okay. While I'm messing with it, I wanted to thank everyone for watching. Um, that last video did really well. I appreciate all the watching. We got people from uh, people from all over the world watching that video. Actually, I, I am shocked and, uh, and thankful. Um, gained quite a few new subscribers, so kind of excited that things are starting to starting to get rolling here, and uh, maybe we can really do something with this. So remember to, if you've already subscribed, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you've already subscribed, uh, make sure to share these videos if with people you think might be interested in them. And, uh, you know, try to uh, give as much feedback as possible because while I see all the views and I'm thankful for them and that really shows me that you guys are into what we're doing here, YouTube doesn't know we're doing well unless you tell it. So. I would uh, encourage y'all just to just to get involved with that, you know. Give your thumbs up and stuff. That tells uh, tells YouTube that the content that's out here is is what is interesting to you and what might be interested interesting to other people. They'll start to shop around other other countries, and before you know, you'll have something like we had with that last video, where people from all over are watching it. All right, let's get these other two done here. <sighs> kind of getting excited with this cold weather. Being January now, kind of waiting for some snow to happen so we can go ahead and uh, go ahead and do some plowing. Um, we can get a first decent snow, you know, 8, 10, 12 inches, something like that, maybe even 6. Um, we'll be plowing out here at the land. We're going to take it in to the, uh, to the town we're nearby. Go ahead and clear a driveway there. Maybe clear out some other driveways. Maybe do some charity stuff too. Maybe some freebies for someone who needs it. So let's go ahead and finish our assembly here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and test it out. go all right pins are all in the roll pin never came out chains are in Let's go ahead and throw the top link in there for good measure That's 
pretty good. All right, let's clean things up a little bit. Get this thing fired up, get the measuring tape, and we're gonna see what we, we went from uh, before. So like I said, if this even works, what we were at before was 12 inches in the center of these balls, 12 inches off the ground, 18 inches at the top. So we're talking like six inches range of motion. So uh, hopefully that was what was actually stopping it. If not, it's gonna be the same. But if it was, uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what our new lower uh, threshold will be for that. So we'll go ahead and be back in a second and uh, and uh, show you what's going on here. Woo! Success. So, go ahead and test it out. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, clearly, it was a success. Um, like I said, we're about uh, 18 inches at the top position there. Looks like we just remeasured. We've got some before and after pictures to show you. Um, you can see it goes down to about seven inches now. So we went from a range of motion of about six inches down to about 11 inches now, or up to about 11 inches. So uh, that was a success. Okay, so here's the thing. I made this mistake to install it this way and then had to redo it. When you uh, install yours, make sure to go ahead and send that square nut all the way up to the top. So you don't make the mistakes that I make. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Give me the thumbs up. And uh, we will see you next time on Tractors, Trails, and Living Free.